Get ready to level up your design game as we dive into the magical world of Canva and Howdy. Welcome to your ultimate Canva tutorial where we'll unleash your inner designer and in minutes transform your join us on this exciting Canva adventure as we reveal the secrets to creating. Hey, don't you dare click on another video. Look, I get it. They're designed to be enticing, but please just let me finish my sentence. Quick, roll the intro while they're stunned. Hi, I'm Mia, a front-end software engineer here at Canva. So, what is a YouTube end screen? Or an end card? Or end slate? Well, they're customizable, interactive features that appear in the last five to 20 seconds of a video. Creators use end screens to encourage and promote channel subscriptions, related videos or playlists, social handles, external websites, or even crowdfunding support. By strategically using end screens, you increase watch time, boost audience retention, and drive traffic to other videos or online platforms. Ultimately, enhancing your channel's growth and success. Sounds pretty important, right? Must be pretty hard to make, right? Not really. Not when you use Canva. Let's start with a search from the homepage. Whoa, look at how many there are. And look at the different styles from simple ones that just thank the audience to much more interactive ones that encourage you to watch more videos, subscribe or visit social platforms. Hit customize when you find one you like. This will open up the template ready for you to make it your own. Change the background color here. Same for these. Adjust the font like this. Hit change all to well, change all. Throw in a placeholder image here. Remember, this is going to be covered by the internal YouTube subscription button. Likewise, these videos will be covered by in-video links people can click on. So choose something that makes sense but is not vital because they'll be hidden. Search and add elements in from the Elements tab. Let's add a logo up here and create some room here for the website address. Okay, this is feeling pretty good. And that took like, what? Just over 60 seconds? Now, all I need to do is add that slide to the end of the video. How you do this will depend on what video editor you're using. And as you may expect, I'm using Canva. Because I created this in Canva, I can just copy and paste the whole thing in. Command A to select all. Command C to copy. Change tab, add in a new page. Command V to paste. You'll need to do the background separately and done. I'll have it last for 20 seconds, which is the maximum time you can have your end screen up for. Now, I can just download my MP4 like I normally would. While we're waiting, I'll tell you a joke. What do you call a YouTuber who is really satisfied? A content creator. Upload it to YouTube. Another joke? Nah, I got nothing. <laughs> okay, jump into the edit menu, end screen. This will give you a bunch of options. You can always add more or delete later, but I would choose based on your design. So I'll put this video in here, this video in here, and my subscribe button here. Click here to add an element. You can play back here and adjust the timings here. I want it all to come up at the same time. Although you could reveal things or hide them if you'd really like. Hit save and there you are. Click here to view on YouTube 
and check it's looking the way you planned. Yeah, nice. So, how did I do? Let's go through the checklist. Oh, actually, there's a really great video all about checklists with my friend Liv. I'll put a link up here. Subscribe button, check. Encouraging viewers to become part of your community and stay updated. Video or playlist suggestions, check. Keep them engaged and increasing channel watch time. A link to an external website, yep. Providing more credibility and context. A call to action or CTA, boosting engagement and visibility. I have to admit, my CTAs aren't that engaging. Social media icons, good for connecting your audience and growing your overall online presence. Personal touch, hmm. I've said thank you, but it doesn't feel very personal. Maybe I could add a small clip of me saying, thank you for watching, like this. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our playlist for more inspiring videos. Remember, the key to an effective end screen is to make it visually appealing and easy to navigate. So your viewers feel compelled to take action. Keep it clean and not too cluttered. You wanna guide your viewers, not overwhelm them. Talking about guides, have you checked out our playlist? Every week, we're dishing out fresh design tips and tricks just for you. So smash that subscribe button and trust me, in no time, you'll be a Canva whiz. And guess what? You'll be learning from us, people who are working right here at Canva HQ, including yours truly. Okay, before you go, I mentioned you could hide or reveal things. Let me explain what I mean. Back on the end screen design. This time, I'll add some text in here that refers to the video next to it. And then add some text here as well. Then as before, I download this as an MP4, add it to a video, just assume I've done that. And now, when it's uploaded to YouTube, jump back into YouTube Studio, go to end screens. Add the elements you want. But this time, we'll adjust the timings so we don't show both videos at once. So, we'll show this one first, And as you can see, the text is showing on the other side. Then we'll have this video finish and then start showing the other one. Now the other text is showing. Cool, right? Hmm, think about all the cool things you could reveal or hide using this trick. A nice little Easter egg for the viewers that stuck around until the end. And that's it. We've unlocked the secrets to YouTube end screens. Exploring the essentials of what an end card is, why it's crucial for your channel success, and how to create your own using a combination of Canva and YouTube Studio. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to unleash the power of end screens and supercharge your videos. As always, drop a comment below if you have questions. Oh, I know what you're waiting for, our end screens. Well, we actually shoot a little bit extra when we film, which is what you're watching now. This is weird. Feels like I'm breaking the fourth wall. So first thing is we have a graphic that appears down here that asks you to subscribe. This is added to the video edit, a graphic we got straight from Canva's element library. Actually, we just upgraded this graphic. Hey, can we get the new one? 
There we go. Then I can say something like, see you next time. And thank you so much for watching. That was my personal touch. We also keep a bit of space over here so we can put a video, normally something that relates to what you just watched. This is an in-video link so people can click on it. And then over here, we put the playlist. These are put in using the end screen tool in YouTube Studio, like I showed you. 